Hi, I'm James Baker, founder of James Baker and Associates and international tax expert slash entrepreneur. And this clip you're about to see is from our last Ask Me Anything. If you want to ask me some questions, I come on live Wednesdays and Thursdays as much as I can. You can join with the link in the description below. I'd love to see you there, but let's get to the clip. I have a nonprofit. Do I need a resale certificate to, tell, to sell t-shirts and promotional items on our website? That's great. So I have questions. I hope, I wish you were here. I know you're probably not here, but if you have a nonprofit, um, based on my client base, I want to know, is it a nonprofit registered in the U S is it a nonprofit registered in another country? Uh, a nonprofit entity is basically a, a, a corporate entity or an LLC that elects and applies for nonprofit tax treatment with the IRS. So then it becomes a nonprofit. Many international nonprofits, um, assume that they're a nonprofit in the U.S., but no, you, if you're an international nonprofit, you have to do an application and apply for U.S. tax nonprofit status as well. And this is required in order to um, justify the charitable deductions for your donors. So to, to get to your question, I'd like to bring that up first because a lot of people will open a company on the Florida website and click the button and say it's a nonprofit and say, I got a nonprofit. It's way more complicated than that because you have to actually request nonprofit tax status from the IRS. You have to apply for it on form 1023. Um, don't audit me there because I don't know the, the 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 exact form. I think it's it. And then if you're a US citizen, you can potentially do it with a 1023 EZ. And I know that's not the question. Um, I'm telling you all this because I don't know the answer to the question. So I want to add some value to your question. Um, do I need a resale certificate to sell t-shirts and promotional items? Um, First of all, you don't need a resale certificate to sell stuff. Um, you need a resale certificate for when you're buying wholesale so that the person who you're buying from does not charge you sales taxes. <clears throat> so I'll repeat that a little slower because I know I talk fast and these are high level concepts that I deal with every day, but you probably don't. Um, you do not need a resale certificate to sell stuff on the internet. You need a resale certificate in order to stop the people you in order to stop the people you're buying from your wholesalers um from charging you sales taxes so if you sell t-shirts the people you're buying from if they're charging you sales taxes then you would probably want a resale certificate because that would get them to stop charging you sales taxes and then you would be required to charge sales taxes to the people in the state with which you have a resale certificate right away and then um, into other states with which you have economic or physical nexus. So if you are buying t-shirts from this company and they charge you 7% um, sales tax, you get a Florida resale certificate or whatever state. I like Florida. They have great resale certificates. And then you give it to them. They stop withholding 7%. Then you have to withhold the 7% on the sales to people inside of Florida. Uh, I really don't think there is uh, exemptions from sales taxes for nonprofits because the sales tax isn't really a tax to the nonprofit. It's a tax to the consumer. It's a consumption tax. So it's really a tax to the people buying t-shirts. So, and, and even then, if, you, if you're charging, if you're a nonprofit and you charge $100 for a t-shirt, um, at the end of the year, the statement they get says that, you know, um, they donated $100, only $80 is deductible because they bought a t-shirt and they received a t-shirt worth $20. So only $80 is deductible. So that has to all be in there, like ironed out at the end of the year. I don't do a ton of nonprofit work. I know how to open nonprofits, file them, organize them. I know the rules about it, but it's a lot of work to successfully run a US nonprofit. There's a lot of filing, a lot of documentation requirements, and uh, it's a lot to do. And um, generally, there's people that specialize only working with nonprofits. I can tell you about this stuff pretty confidently, but in terms of the operations, the annual filing of Form 990 and all of that stuff, um, there's a lot to it. So, uh, you know, the, you're going to have to come back with more questions. I hope this answered your question here. I gave you way more information than you bargained for with this question. Okay, so thanks for asking. Thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. And I want to share some things I have to offer you. If you're looking for help expanding to the U.S. or fixing a tax problem, the quickest way to contact us is to schedule a free call in the description below or visiting jamesbakercpa.com schedule. 
If you want to skip the line and speak with me directly, there's also a link in the description to, um, to schedule a call with me, which is another great option. Um, I encourage you to join our Telegram and Discord groups because in there we're announcing when I'm going live, I'm participating, I'm answering questions in real time. It's all free and it's a quick community to uh, engage with other entrepreneurs and people like yourself who are international and learning about this stuff. And I think it's a really valuable place to be in. At the end of the day, if you just subscribe and see me on the next video, that works too. So thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video.